One way to create a layout is to convert a schematic into a printed circuit board. So we first draw the schematic and take care that the components have the same orientation as they need in the layout. The electromagnetic simulation can contain resistors and capacitors. The substrate must be defined. But of course, the most common things are microstrip elements. For a simple circuit like this, the application can set the wires automatically. When the schematic is complete, the application can convert it into layout. The parameters of the field simulation can now be edited. A DC free excitation is recommended for circuits that contain coupling. Finally, the simulation can be performed. Another way for creating a layout is to draw it directly in the layout editor. As usually, the component parameters can be edited after a double click on it. Here we can paint layouts that cannot be created with the schematic editor. And it is possible to simulate layouts that cannot be analyzed with a circuit simulator. The S parameter ports should have the same width like the microstrip line that they drive. Many ports can be used as a load. But only the first one is the source. And they should lie directly from the edge of the microstrip line.
Now we must define the frequency range of interest. And box, we need to define the substrate parameters. When everything is done, let's perform the simulation. With a mark we read out the frequency, where the microstrip line transforms the short circuit into an open circuit. Let's calculate if this equals our line length. It is a quarter of the vacuum speed of light, divided by the frequency, and the effect of permittivity. Indeed, the result is the line length, minus the diameter of the through hole. The third and last way of creating a layout is to import it from a hyperlinks file. This is done with the right mouse button menu. The S parameter ports must be inserted manually. Let's have a look on the coordinates of the input line. We need these data for the precise positioning of the S parameter ports. As a last step, we adjust some simulation parameters. And finally, we start the simulation. This layout is already somewhat complex, thus, the simulation take a little longer. <laughs> 